Hello, my name is August Simonelli. I'm part of Red Hat's customer and field engagement team. Today, I'm going to show you a demonstration of installing Red Hat OpenShift service on AWS, also known as Rosa. Installing Rosa is easy. Simply log into the Red Hat Hybrid Cloud Console using your Red Hat account. Follow the link to the Rosa menu and click Create Cluster to launch the installation wizard. The wizard gives you a handy list of prerequisites you need to complete before installation, as well as links to the supporting documentation to perform those steps needed. Rosa interacts with AWS using STS, so you'll need to create related AWS Identity Access Management resources. Using the OpenShift Cluster Manager also requires a role and user to be able to associate your AWS account with the Cluster Manager. The Rosa wizard makes this easy to do by providing the necessary commands and steps required. Commands can be copied directly from the wizard and used in the CLI, making the linking process quick and easy. Confirm you've completed the steps and associate your account. As you can see, I linked mine earlier. Once the accounts are linked, you can see the AWS ARNs directly in the wizard and your AWS account number is available for selection. Next, name your cluster, choose your version, and select your availability and region. Setting your cluster to multi-zone ensures worker nodes are placed across multiple AWS availability zones and is recommended for production workloads. You can choose to add additional encryption or even associate your AWS KMS key. The wizard allows you to choose your instance sizing, manage auto-scaling, and add your labels. And this is really neat. Say you want to use your own VPC and even set a proxy. Select the option and the steps will be added to the wizard dynamically. Then you can continue on with the installation being presented with the relevant options for your choice. In my case, I don't want to do that and the options are removed. If you want to change the default values for your cluster networks, you could do that here. And each field has handy tooltips to help you understand what you need. Required IAM roles and policies can be created manually via the Rosa CLI or automatically via the wizard. It's important to keep your cluster up to date and you can schedule the updates right here. You can change this after you've built the cluster. As a final step, all your settings are presented. You can then create your cluster or head back and fix anything you need to. Once the installation begins, you can track the progress from the hybrid cloud console, including full installation logs. For me, the installation took about 45 minutes, but the timing may vary depending on your AWS region. I'll go ahead and speed up the video to the end of the installation process. Now, before logging in, I need to quickly configure my access. I'm choosing a simple identity provider, but as you can see, there are plenty available. I'm going to create a user I can remember and record the password. And as a final step, I'll grant that user full access by placing it in the cluster admins group. I can now open the console, log in through my identity provider, and start using my Rosa cluster.